Bueno dia mis amigos, soy Big Grayson, welcome back to another video of not Dragon Ball Sparking, but Final Fantasy Brave Exeus or the Visions. It's been a while since I made a, a video, and uh, but let's go ahead and let's see this preview of what's going to happen in the next, I guess this next coming week. Um, so this maintenance is going to be October 16th at uh, 18 standard time, I don't know, I guess specific standard time. Um, but besides that, we're going to get a FFBE. 43 front front line. What is this? What are they talking about here? So it says multiple awakening at once for units Okay, cool. Oh right, cool. So instead of you know going through the whole thing and doing one by one you'll be able to Awaken everyone by I guess the click of a button. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. That's a new update That's pretty useful quality of life kind of thing, but it looks like we're gonna be getting some two uh, new units. We're gonna be getting you are Alaya Halloween and then you are Exia and more um we all knew that uh, Excuse me. We all knew that Exia was coming as for the new Alaya uh, I mean we saw on JP on their official account that they had a photo of like you know guess who this is So it looks like we're beginning Alaya today. So that's that's pretty cool um, She's gonna be a, a 70 cost lightning unit dazzling light of the festival night Alaya Halloween um, her little burst is going to be called Black Cat in the Night. Resist on unique attack resist piercing ray for three turns and deals extra large damage to two targets and a chance to inflict confusion for three turns. So that confusion is going to be very um, impressive, especially if she's, you know, the slower ones. So she gets the last last turn to confuse those people. So she could be very useful. Um, double duality X seal lowers a mental chain resist for up to two targets for three turns and deals two. Um, hit large damage on caster's magic stat and then seals haste courage removal for three turns so this is really good because her buff does give her courage and that courage removal and haste re haste removal will be really nice um i guess on her team as well because uh everyone can remove haste right now it's pretty sad um but yeah there's that and then there's exia so exia she uh it's gonna be a water type actually what was alaya alaya is gonna be what's her main job She's going to be a conjurer, which is, I have no idea. She's Staff Deval. All right, put in the comments if you guys know what exactly uh, Aliyah is going to be. Oh, she's Mace. She's going to be a Mace job, that's right. And then uh, I'm pretty sure Exia is going to be Staff Deval. Anyway, so her limit burst for Exia is going to call the Future God Envisions. Increase physical magic damage of allies within range for four turns. Resist fire, resist critical evasion rate for four turns. And bestows debuff effect, man eater down for three turns to successful attacks for four turns and races on ct um then okay this buff's really good especially against those people that have follow-up attacks um it's gonna because when you hit those people with, a, with those follow attacks their man eater is going to go down and she's also gonna be doing quite a bit of damage with her other abilities and she can heal looks like so arcane cradle lowers unit attack resist up to two targets and set up percentage for three turns and deals large damage based on caster's magic stat and chance to inflict sleep for three turns and uh sequently activates tender healing so I believe this is gonna be like Soul, like with the whenever Soul uses his ability at the very end, like he's gonna heal his um, allies who are next to him. I'm pretty sure this one is just gonna suck one unit though. Um, God Oracle raises area attack resist um, debuff reduction rate for allies within area around seven four turns and bestow the debuff effect removal all buff ceiling for three turns. To successful attacks for four turns and will survive fatal damage to self one time. Decrease chance being targeted when HP falls below 20% when taking damage and raises CT. That's quite a bit. Um, I mean, the greatest thing here it looks like is the uh, area attack resist and debuff reduction rate. So, like, uh, just those buffs are not going to be as debuffs are being as stronger against her, and as well as those attack resistance. And then uh, she's gonna have courage and as well as a raise of CT whenever her HP gets down. So if she needs to heal or kill someone, she can do that. Um, and of course, double coin, double things for barracks and things like that. And uh, we're we'll getting a new limit burst enhancement, and as well as a character quest two for Lucio Halloween. So if you have him, congratulations, and you might be able to use him again. As for Halloween campaign, we'll be getting some shards for Alaya and Exia, Exia, and uh, as well as some tickets for Exia. And you should be able to get a whole free pool for her. I'm um, so. Good luck on your free pools. Um, and then she's gonna have her, excuse me, she can have her staff. 
and you can be able, you'll be able to farm that as well as the mace as well as the mace for a lad halloween it's going to be her broom so that's pretty funny everyone can now equip the broom if you want that to be your mace be like classic abuelita con un gatito or something um and then limited guild battles begin and it looks like it's going to start uh, so my Limited Guild Battle is going to start the 17th, the Guild Battle will start the 19th, so in 4 days, um, and then the map effect will begin, I guess it's going to be Lightning and Water Units Distance Based Damage Reduction Effect from 2 panels away and beyond, max effect 5 panels, um, so this is physical damage, this is general, okay, so it's just general, general damage, Lightning and Water Units will take less damage, and then Wind Units, Physical Damage Boost, okay, and then Gloves, Mace, and Staff Devout, Cool main job unit ma magic up. Okay, so it's gonna be really hard against um, fighting against mages and things. And so good luck with everyone uh, with your teams. Um, build anti magic, or if you have magic, then build magic pen and super strong mag magic teams. And it looks like the rest of this is just gonna be uh, yeah, just saying what their jobs are gonna be. But yeah, awesome. Looks like that's gonna be it. Awesome. Well, I love you guys, and uh, I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers. So. If you can help me reach that goal, that would be awesome. Um, stay powerful. Bye. Hit the subscribe. It's gonna be so cool.